Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. How are you doing today? I hope you are all doing very, very well on a lovely Saturday. First, I need to say thank you to everyone for the wonderful comments on my one year anniversary uh, video. I am so, so excited to be starting year two. And I can't believe year two starts with my first video in collaboration with Green Apple Books in San Francisco. If you guys have not had a chance to check it out, I will link that video down below. Please do. Noah is a great bookseller there at Green Apple Books, and he makes some very interesting recommendations. And you can learn all about my collaboration with them moving forward. But what am I coming with you today? Today it is time for my March TBR. Now, you know I used to say that I don't do TBRs, but I have found in the last few months I've had a TBR and it's really worked for me. So I'm going to continue to try this. So let's see how it works. But this TBR is a little bit funny because the first three books I've already read. March has started off to be a very good reading month for me so far. So I'm not going to tell you what I think about them. That will be in my wrap up, but I am going to tell you about all the books I'm hoping to read. It's ambitious. I probably won't get them to them all, um, but um, I'm really excited about every book that is on this list. The first book that's on this list is What We Lose, a novel by Zinzi Clemens. Um, this is the story of a young woman. What is her name again? Um, Thandy. Um, and this book is about her dealing with her mother dying from cancer. Now, I will say this book, I, when I read it, I didn't know this about it, but it is very definitely in the vein of Virginia Woolf, or if you guys liked Department of Speculation by Jenny Olaf, I have, I feel a lot of the same feels in this book. This is about her dealing with her life. You learn about her past, her future, about decisions she makes in relationships, and you also learn about the relationship she has with her mom and how that, um, her mom passing away affects um, sort of who she is as a person. It is, it, yeah, I'm not going to tell you too much about it, but What We Lose by Zinzi Clemens was the first book that I read this month. I then moved on to My Name is Leon by Kit DeWall. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the story of Leon. He's nine years old at the start of the book. He's just become a big brother to his little brother, Jake. Now, Leon, his mother... Um, is not married, and both he and his brother have different fathers. So Leon is actually of mixed race, and Jake is 100% white. And what happens is Leon's mother is dealing with mental illness and has to get help, and he gets put in the foster system. And because he's of mixed race, he is not desirable to be adopted, but his brother Jake is adopted. And it is the story of how that and his search for his family again informs who Leon is as a person. This book has a fantastic cast of characters. It will make you cry and it will, yeah, I have so much to say about it, but that's My Name is Leon by Kit DeWall. The next book I read is a graphic novel, which I actually haven't even hauled yet, but this was sent to me by my friend Richard at Richard Reads, and this is I Kill Giants by Joe Kelly and J.M. Ken Nim Nim Nimura? Nimura, there's two eyes in there and I don't know how to say two eyes. Um, this is a fantastic graphic novel, so thank you so much, Richard, for sending it to me. This is the story of a young girl who's created this fantasy world in her head where she thinks giants are going to come back, and she is preparing to fight them. And you, um, yeah, she's also dealing with some stuff at home, and it's about friendship, and it's about being alone, and um, the art is, let me see if I can get you guys a good page. Yes, the art is fantastic. And so that's I Kill Giants by Joe Kelly and KM Kem, Ken Nomura. And thank you again, Richard. Yeah, I have a lot to say about this one too. The next book I'm actually halfway through and really doesn't need any introduction, and that's Tin Man by Sarah Winman. You guys know how this is. This is the story of two men and a woman, which I didn't realize about, but this is really the story of our main characters, Ellis and, <clears throat> excuse me, Ellis and Michael and Annie and their relationship. Uh, Ellis and Michael have known each other since they were younger, um, and it's how their friendship changes over time. Um, so far, I am loving this book, and um, I, it has deserved all the hype, as I can tell you that it's gotten, and that's Tin Man by Sarah Winman. 
Now, for the books that I haven't read, the one you guys know is on my TBR in March is the third book in my Around the World in a Thousand Pages book club, and that is Purple Hibiscus by Chimanda Ngoze Adiche. This is the story of Angu and Kambili, Kambili, um, I think? No, I'm sorry, it's in the city of Enju. I am, I am on a, a roll today, aren't I? This is the story of Kambili and her older brother, Jaja. Um, they come from a well-to-do family, but they have a very overbearing father. And this is the story of when they go to move to and live with their aunt, I believe, for a certain amount of time. And sort of how they realize how different the world is from the world they live in. Um, I am so excited for this book. Um, other than her collection of short stories, this is the only thing by Chimanda Ngozi Adichie I haven't read. So I am super, super excited for Purple Hibiscus. If you aren't a member of my uh, book club, I will link it down below. Please join. And we have, you guys, the conversations that are had on the Goodreads page are fantastic. And the conversations that are had in the comments of the videos are just great. Um, and I really love my book club. So thank you for everyone who's joined. The next book that I really, really want to get to this month, and I'm so excited because it came out in paperback, is The Heart's Invisible Furry Furies by John Boyne. Um, I have to say, I've been following John Boyne on Twitter and developing a little bit of a crush on him. This is the story of Cyril Avery, um, who was adopted, and this is sort of the saga of his life. It has um, gay themes, it has themes about the world and about life, and I have heard nothing but raves about this book. My friend Michael Kindness speaks very, very highly of it. Um, and the paperback is, I just think is stunning. So I actually picked this paperback up today and I definitely think this is actually gonna be my next read because um, yeah, I want to. Okay, the next book is kind of a surprise book. I don't think that I even th thought that I would read it anytime soon. I have it, it's on my shelf to be hauled. Um, but The Idiot by Elif Batman has been killing it in the Tournament of Books. If you guys are not following the Tournament of Books, but in the first round it won the, um, the play-in round and then it just beat White Tears. And both of the people talk about it. This is the story of a young girl who goes to college in 1995 when email first comes into play. Funny enough, I started college in 1995, so I have a lot of affinity for this. Um, and it's about a relationship that she starts via email with, a, with a, another boy and how that relationship takes place. I've heard that this book is a slow burn, but it is worth every page. Um, and I also believe this was long listed for the Women's Prize too, so it's getting all sorts of buzz in my world, so I really wanna get to The Idiot by Elif Botman. A book I wanna remind you guys of, and I'm gonna try to get to this month, but it came out uh, um, in the month of March, is The Reluctant Fortune Tailor by Kiza Frost. Um, and she was very nice to send me a copy of her book early, so I'm going to try to read it this month. This is the story of our main character, Norbert, who tells people's fortunes by reading um, playing cards. Um, he's an older man. You know how I love books about older men. And um, I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. And it did come out on March 6th, so check it out if you're into it. And, you know, it's just about the drama that has people's lives. And I think it could be a real fun just page turner. So that's The Reluctant Fortune Teller by Kiza Frost. The last two books are probably a real stretch just because I have a lot of travel and I don't know if I'm going to get to them, but I really, really want to. And the first is Silver Girl by Leslie. Leslie helped me pronounce her last name and I still know I'm going to... Uh, butchered it but this is um, an unnamed press book and you guys you know how I love them and this is also a story of a young girl that goes to college and I believe she's nameless near a nameless narrator what I think is fantastic and it just is about her in college she has sort of this affinity to work through people's problems um, and a gift and an ability to, to understand what others needs and to reflect back the version of themselves they wish to see rendering herself invisible and she has quite a past. I've heard nothing but great things in the reviews of Silver Girl and I really want to read this um, and I'm super excited. I'm hoping I can read fast through all of these books and get to it and yeah I'm super excited about Silver Girl. And last but not least is just a book that um, Sean the book maniac Matthew Sarapa 
I think even Eric Carlson has really raved about, and that's Fire Sermon by Jamie Quattro. Um, this is just sort of a story, and I'm going to read you this because, one, I just, I've been trying to figure out how to summarize it, and I know it's not going to be as good as the little blurb here. Maggie is entirely devoted to her husband Thomas, their two beautiful children, and to God, until what becomes a platonic intellectual and spiritual exchange between writer Maggie and poet James transforms into a, an erotically charged bond that challenges Maggie's sense of loyalty and morality, drawing her deeper into the darkness of desire. Now, I've read the first few pages of this, and Jamie Quattro can write. Um, and I really want to get into this. You know what? Maybe I'll audiobook this because I do have a bit of driving coming up. Um, but I am super excited about it. So that's Fire Sermon by Jamie Quattro. So that is my March TBR. Have you guys read any of these books? Please, let's talk about them below. Um, I'm super excited. I, th three books. I've already read three books and it's only March 10th. So I feel like I'm on a good roll. Um, so as always, if you are a return subscriber, Welcome back. You know, I so appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, thank you. Please subscribe. And as always, until next time, happy reading. Bye!